Okay, I'm back. I had to have a conversation with my little friends. It's a little chilly, letting my girl warm up. She's been sitting still for a good little while for the holiday. We didn't, we didn't put her on the road. So, <clears throat> she's a little uh, cold. Done. My gloves. Put some gloves on. Go. We won't put the warmer on. But until then, I got to go now. Yep, I got to go. Behind the tent! Hope everybody's doing well. It has been a great... No wonder she gone. So why is she gone? Because I went back in the house and did some stuff. That's why. She and I leave at the same time. And she's already gone. Oh, I didn't have to put the glasses on. I'm tripping. Tripping, tripping, tripping. Okay. Put these glasses on here. All right. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a great holiday. I'm behind the gun by just now getting back to it and uh, getting back on schedule with you guys. Been uh, out of town and I took a hiatus, which we all sometimes need to do and uh, shut down and refresh and regroup our thoughts, our, our processes and everything and um, get on task to where you would like to be. Um, I hope uh, you guys have had that opportunity to go home and be with family and I don't know what it is about being around family and uh, people who you grew up with or you know that is in your close-knit circle of uh, support it gives you some type of revitalization that is none other. It's like they pump, pump, pump you up. And it is such a reviving thing to have that. You know, we we get so used to the hustle and bustle of our way of life, but it's nothing wrong with going back to your base, your solace, your peace, when everything was just the way it needed to be to give you that foundational peace of mind that you can do and be anything you need to be. And uh, I got uh, to not to go to my home, but go to my, uh, my hubby's home and have him to have that recharge. I saw how it vitalized him and them telling me, no, you need to rest. No, you <laughs> oh, wait, oh my God. <laughs> they wouldn't let me do anything. Okay. So it was, it was a good thing to have that, you know, that I was away from everything and I was not in charge of doing anything. That was so great. And I appreciate them for giving me that moment to allow that to happen. And um, for me to have some revitalization as well. So, um, we're back at it. We're back at it 110%. Oh my God, don't tell me this freeway is jacked up. <laughs> I look like it's rolling. Okay, that's just over there. It's like, what in the world is going on? around the curve, going fast, going fast. I came in hot then, but that's okay. I was just trying to get here for the traffic start. But anyway, I am glad to be back in Texas. Um, we were uh, out of the state, and it was great. However, 
thinking about she don't want it. Oh, you just told me you were going to turn it all the week. What for now? The two of y'all turn it? I'm gone. Y'all playing with my emotions. Smokey. Uh. But, uh, it was it's great to be back in the state of Texas. Uh, I did not have to drive. Oh, my God. It's been a long time since I have had to drive on the freeway. Oh, my God. Usually I'm always going home by myself, so it's like I'm always driving or going somewhere and I'm always driving, so it was great that I didn't drive each one to his home gym, which was great. Um, I didn't know what to do. I'm so used to driving. I got to see stuff. I got to look at everything and not pay attention to the road. And uh, wow, it was just a great, great experience. I forgot you guys came part of the Freeway, freeway, hold on, let me put the earpiece in so you guys can hear a little bit better. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's see. Yep, that picked up. Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me. You can hear me really well. Uh, now that I'm on the freeway, I'll speak up a little louder too. Uh, it was actually there where it came to my attention that I need to uh, build up some things in the business so therefore I have a little bit more um, reach as you would say uh, sometimes you don't have the reach you would like and you're trying to figure out how you're going to get that reach so I kind of went back into my business plan and if you don't have a business plan you can get one by just going ahead and writing down some things that you would like to see or forecast out in your business and then build from it from there. I mean, I don't know how much you already have a business plan. If you haven't, have, there's plenty of ones out there on the internet that you can kind of use as a template or a guide to get you where you need to be. And uh, please, please use those because they are great tools to do funding later if you're looking for it because uh, you already have it and all you have to do is put in your, your, your uh, actual numbers versus your forecasted numbers and uh, your uh, profit and loss and you could possibly qualify for loans, grants, or whatever it is that you're trying to attempt to achieve for. <clears throat> so make sure you have a business plan and have it on paper somewhere that you can present to someone in its final format as close as you can get to it because I know you're going to have to change it more maneuver it around and what you know whatever so forth what have you goodness what's going on we're not having this today now oh my god we're here we're not going to do this today we're not doing this today I'm already later than where I should have been. Should not have took that. I went back into the house to do something. I probably should have did that. But advertising uh, that's something you're gonna have to have a marketing budget 
I don't care what anyone tells you, you're gonna have to market. You, if you're gonna be in business, how will someone know about you if you don't market? You're gonna have to market your business, market yourself, market your products. You're gonna have to do that. So you're gonna have to put funds into your business for that. Now, if that's not what you wanna do, then you're not wanting to be in business, just being honest. And if you think that just being, being able to just not put money into marketing, you're gonna be successful, then you are lying in, in a facade world, because it's not gonna happen that way. And I'm just speaking some real truths to you guys today. You gotta market. You gotta go ahead and do it. I don't know if it's gonna be Google, Facebook, Instagram, uh, uh, or just you getting out hitting the pavement. You are going to have to put that sweat equity in there eventually if you're not going to go to those other places to get your, uh, your business out there. You're going to have to do some sweat equity. And that means hitting the pavement, going door to door, more business to business, going in to uh, meet people and pass out flyers, pass out business cards every day you go out the door. You are walking through a billboard about your business. And if you're not talking about your business all day, every day, to someone, then you are not doing your business justice to be in business, to leave your nine to five pressure, give you pressure of your goal, your mission, or whatever it is you're trying to have some generational wealth, or however you want to put it in your business plan, if that, that's what you got, then you are failing your business by not doing that. If you're not going to do marketing on Google, Facebook, Instagram, all those things, to, and on your website, so whatever it is you have. If you're not doing that, then you are failing. You already failed. It's not going to work. Because nobody's going to know about you. Nobody's going to know anything that you do unless you, oh, oh, by the way, I have this. Oh, by the way, I have this. The main thing you should have is a Google page. And if you don't have a Google page, you grand opening, grand closing. Just real. Just being real today. Speaking things that you should already have in place. If you don't have a Google page, your business, your business is not in existence. You don't exist. No one will know anything about you if they go to the internet and search. Because what's the first thing someone does when they find out you got a business? Oh, they go to Google to see if you're in there. Because if you don't have a Google page, you don't, you're not in business. If you don't pull up on Google, you're not in business. You don't exist. You don't. You don't have a Facebook page, you don't exist. People just look at it from and, and, and that's not the truth, but that's the way they see Surmise it. They surmise that. So do yourself a favor, make sure you have Google Pages. And then make sure you go over and create yourself a Google page. I mean a Facebook page. So therefore you have those two pages that people go to nowadays look for. It used to be the white pages or the, or the yellow pages. This one is. The yellow pages. It used to be the yellow pages. You would look in there and uh, get your, your business from that. But they don't have the yellow pages so much. They may still have them, but a lot of people are not picking up a book to find a business nowadays. People are not doing that. They have Google. What do they, what do they need the, the yellow pages for? They don't. They don't use that. So, just being honest and telling you, the consumer, to... Um, you're in business. This is, this is what you tell the consumer. Hey, I, I'm in business. And if you don't have those things, how else will they know unless you have a billboard sign on your face, over your shoulders, front and back, an A sign, front and back on your shoulders saying, I'm in business. I do business. So, yeah, if you don't do that, then you don't have it up. So, just some things I wanted to share today. Um, about your business. I actually had a uh, chit chat with all the stuff I'm talking to you about with my brother-in-law and he's in business and making sure he has some things that, uh, that he can put in place, in which most of them he did. He has an Instagram page, he has a Facebook page, he 
have uh, a Google page. So he has a lot of that. He just didn't have a website and that's what we're gonna work on uh, because I think he would do well with that. But that's just my suggestion to him. He doesn't necessarily have to because his business is doing well just by word of mouth. The work you do sometimes will speak to others and get you the business that you sometimes do not know to get because you do awesome work. The word will spread around or they will see it themselves and come over and ask you in the line of work he does. So, you know, so therefore, some, some businesses does not, does not always, do not always have to follow that for them. But in most cases, if you're in the industry in which we are in, which is textiles, uh, garment industry, then you need to, uh, dang, I know this is going to be a trip. Yeah, it's And um, we have to have things out there to let people know that we're out here doing work. I have two orders that are about to come through. I talked to one guy before I left for the holiday. We were not going to be able to get it back in time for him. So I'm going to reach out to him today because I am back in town. And uh, go ahead and get him taken care of. I've done his order before for the summer. He's switching over to hoodies. That's returning to be repeated business. So I'm gonna give him a discount because he did come back. You know? So um, I'm gonna go ahead and give him this discount that he, he got in his little packet when I sent all this stuff over to him. So uh, that's a return business. Uh, another guy is with a uh, motorcycle club about to do some stuff for them, some shirts. So um, be able to be approachable. Receptive to people reaching out to me and making it easy for them to reach out to you. Phone, make sure it has your information on there about your business, your, um, <clears throat> your, your um, Google page. Make sure it's clear, concise information about your business. Great day. Hope you guys um, 